Hi there everyone, I thought I'd share with you my Halloween plans. I'm putting together a costume that I hope will last several years and uh, keep me from having to do that last minute uh, crunch every year, which I seem to find myself in. So this year I've decided I'm going to be a Ghostbuster. Uh, and to start that uniform, I'm using a Navy issue flight suit. Uh, just a used one, which uh, is kind of perfect, I think. Uh, I don't want it to look too new or unused. Uh, this one's got a couple of, couple of stains on it and uh, from you know airplane stuff and so I think it's perfect uh, and to that I'll be adding a bunch of things which I will share with you momentarily um, but I did just decide to go with this I had ordered a uh, uh, flight suit or coveralls flight suit from a company called true spec that's tru dash spec I think off of you know, Amazon or whatever which is what a lot of folks in the costume making community that are trying to do a Ghostbusters outfit go with. Um, I just thought the actual thing that they use in the movie uh, and something that I'm familiar with that would have a little bit of usedness to it, have some of this random Velcro and whatnot that's uh, used you know, yeah, on the job. I thought, I thought it would add a little something. So uh, the biggest thing you add to this, of course, is the proton pack and uh, I'll show you what we got and what I plan on doing with it. So here we go. This is the standard little proton pack that you can get from ha uh, from Spirit Halloween. Those uh, Halloween stores you see everywhere. They seem to have plenty of them in stock, or you can get them off uh, off of Amazon or whatever floats your boat. So as it comes, it actually looks pretty slick. It's a good unit. Um, it has, I mean, there's a lot of detail to it, but there's some stuff I just really don't, oh, I can't get over. So one of those is the wand itself. First of all, this pack is about 80% scale. So it's sized down about 20% from the original. Uh, and it's got one function. This is it. So you've, you've got one button for on and off and you get this. So it kind of goes nuts, these lights flash you've got this blue light with one of apparently one single source down there it's flashing like mad and this one tip and that's it and after several seconds it makes a that shutdown sound um man we could do better so what we're doing here first of all is again this thing comes with it comes with some backpack straps that aren't bad they are a little anemic though um, it's got this felt pad that is backed by a piece of cardboard and then there's the battery uh, compartment there so the first thing and easiest thing to do to get this closer to something like what you actually see on screen is to add an actual no joke uh, military alice pack frame so uh, alice pack is was the sort of the the standard military uh frame pack base for a long time in fact I, maybe we're still using them i'm not sure but in any case this is what the packs are mounted on in the movie actually so obviously it'll add some authenticity to it you'll get these big straps and all that and if you look at the characters on the in the movie uh it, it, it's accurate. It adds a lot to the appearance of the thing overall. So next, uh, I'll be adding some cosmetic upgrades to the pack. And so this, these are from Spirit Labs or Ghost Labs? Spirit Labs, I think. Um, or Ghost Lab 42, I can't tell you for sure. Anyway, um, yeah, Ghost Labs 42. First thing is this ribbon, which is a very prominent piece on the, in the movie version. So Spirit Halloween did put this uh, actual uh, ribbon wire in here that uh, looks okay, you know, for base purposes, but it's a far cry from what's actually in their movie side. So that's the number one upgrade. Uh, this, this kit, this cosmetics upgrade kit from Spirit Lab 42 also comes with these four uh, lenses that will go in here so you're not just seeing uh, this almost bare bulb flashing like the, the, so you really see the bulb directly which isn't what it looks like in the movie 
Um, next is a this brass antenna rod wick fuse uh, I don't know um, that will go right here it's just a brass rod that comes out of this piece and if you if you look at the movies it's a pretty prominent piece so so those uh, those are the oh and some some tubing and some wires uh, and whatnot that are left out uh, from the pack in places that really stand out, including this, this brace that will attach up in here when the ribbon goes through and sort of looms the ribbon over into here, uh, just like what's in the movie. So there's that. Next, there is the sound upgrade. This is pretty sweet. So this is uh, the sound motherboard and the wiring and switches and whatnot for it and the speaker, the replacement speaker itself, which is way more robust than this anemic little thing that's in here. So, uh, and I'm really looking forward to hearing that in action, so to speak. Then we've got a light upgrade pack. So this is rather hard to see, but uh, uh, I'll definitely be getting some shots of this later. Uh, these cups that uh, are going to go in here and contain that light. They're made of red plastic to really even this out. Plus, uh, it comes with these diffuser discs that will go in there over those red lenses and really hopefully make that pop. Uh, it also comes with the, the, the actual motherboard for this. It's going to reside up in here alongside uh, alongside the uh, or inside this portion of the pack the really slick thing about that is we're getting some LED lights to replace this really cheese motronic thing that was in there before that will you know flash in the way they're supposed to uh, it also uh, sh instead of these just flashing on and off out of control it will they will actually cycle as they do in the movie in the cyclotron part in the movie uh, so there's that then uh, there are some other uh, functional upgrades here so this man again it's hard to see but I'll, I'll in the further video I'll put in there some switching panels and whatnot that go in here could require a little bit of drilling and sawing and whatnot to allow for some control that is not there in the uh, in the stock pack. So there's some things I plan on adding too. Like there's a supposed to be a blue wire coming out of this. So it looks like a pipe coming into this area. There's supposed to be a cover on here. Things that I can fabricate myself pretty easily. Uh, so next on the costume itself, we've got the patches, um, so the name patch and and ghost patch that go, you know, right there, Bankman, and the uh, patch for that. Uh, then we've got the goggles, the would be the ecto goggles. So to make those, uh, they are made of a uh, in the movies. What they used were old military surplus. Uh, sort of primitive night vision goggles that were called an, an AN slash PVS dash five alpha A um, or five B, one or the other, um, and PVS five anyway. Um, that were early model night vision goggles that uh, you can still find on eBay if you want to fork out a ton of money um, to get some non-functioning old pieces of gear. But uh, you can make something that looks pretty good with these. So the first thing is, uh, it, they're blue, and it's passable, but I'm gonna be taking these apart and then spray painting the blue parts with this uh, olive drab green, which is what the originals would have looked like. Then we add some pieces of PVC piping from Home Depot that were, you know, like 80 cents or dollar a piece that uh, will go on there for the actual lenses. Next, for the uniform, in the uh, these are 
screen accurate to what was worn in the movies. They're just these, these felt kind of volleyball elbow pads that uh, come in this triple lump kind of design. You can find them super easy on eBay. Um, they, in just like this, or with a single pad, or there's all kinds of different versions of these or similar looking ones. But these are the ones that are precisely the ones used in the movie. Uh, next, we've got the, the chemical goggles, these sticky, nasty PVC um, chemical gloves that uh, will get tucked in the belt, which is this, which is just a sort of a standard issue parade pistol belt. This is a, just a few bucks on Amazon. Uh, but the ones worn in the movie are gray. Good luck finding that. You can find them in black and white and green, but good luck finding them in gray as they were in the movie. So we'll be dyeing it with some of this RIT uh, fabric dye. Uh, let's see. And I think that about wraps up what goes into making this uniform. Oh, and a pair of uh, black boots. So I've got plenty of old black flight, blue, flight boots from uh, my service days, but those can be found anywhere real easy. So once this is all put together, I will make a follow-up video to show you the differences between um, this and what we end up with, uh, as well as what, how the uniform comes out. So with that, I uh, look forward to uh, sharing with you what I can get done in the short amount of time I have before Thanksgiving. I really kind of procrastinated on this, but we'll see what we can get done. Till then, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button if you do, and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next videos.